Hello guys, this is Chris and I'll be showing you how to set up the FMC on the Aerosoft's Airbus X. So we first we need to situate the uh, FMC so it's uh, located in the center, uh, low center of the cockpit. Here it is, uh, below the, uh, the ND panel. And first we need to yeah, this is our plane, British Airways, a G20, the very one that I flew to London in the Christmas holidays. So, let's get inside. Here we go, here is the FMC. Let's get closer. So, first we need to go to the initial page. Here we'll see some things we can do, if the things can do are not available or ignored. So let's see now, we, first we need to feel where we're going and where from are we going. So we're going from Sofia which is uh, LBSF, we need to put a slash, like it says here, and we're going to Burgas. L B B G. We select the knob or, uh, fro to the right fro from the letters and from the orange squares. So let's do it. Yeah. You see now it's filled with blue letters. Next thing we need to fill the flight number, which in this case is the random one. We'll do K K one ready seven. Let's do it. And you see, it's here now, all in blue, also in blue eyes. Now we need to align the RS or the GPS. We click the right knob next to the orange letters, and as you see, it shows our position, latitude and longitude. And next thing we need to we need to fill the cost index. This cost index cost index is from numbers from ten to two hundred. Uh, uh, number 10 is the lowest cost index which means the most economical and 200 is the less economical and the biggest so depends on what you want to fly in this case we put uh, 80 because it's the default like this. next thing is the uh, cruising for uh, flight level which in this case I'll put uh, 18,000. We put it here, yes, you see. Okay, we're done right now with the initial A page. We move to the initial B page from here. Uh, so you, you see here zero fuel weight and block fuel weight. For zero fuel weight, you can enter manually the numbers from the scratch pad or uh, uh, the computer will do them automatically if you press the knob right to the orange square so like this you see and from the block fuel it's the same so th that is done now next thing is the taxi uh, time which I should I will put two minutes see okay uh, next thing we move to the uh, flight plan here you see the our our flight plan indeed. So we need to put now our waypoints. The next waypoint from this is G O L. We select the knob uh, from the left of L B B G. You see here, and you see there are duplicate duplicate names, which means there. Hmm, there are more than one waypoints with the same name. We select normally the furthest from uh, ours, which is 40 new nautical miles. We select it, and you see it's now here. And if you go to the navigation display and make it, you see now you put GOL in on the map. So, we, we, which means we get the waypoint entered. Next thing, we should do the rest of them. 
which in this case there are many so I'll just cut out this part till we do it so see you later welcome back to the video as we see I've, I've filled all the waypoints and we can see them on the map over here, let me just put it as you see, we can fill them. Oh, there are not so many, but they're alright. So, next thing, we should the last one. Let's go to the takeoff page. So, we click the pair of button and we see the takeoff page. Here on the left we see the V speeds, V1, V rotate, V2. Now you can enter the menu again like the fuel or automatic. So we just press this, it calculates 146, 150, 153. Okay. Next is the flaps. Flaps usually are one or two depending on the meteorological conditions. Let's see. Weather is pretty nice outside, so I'll select one. But usually, if you're a professional, you'll select um, by the meta conditions like this. And okay. It, uh, for flex toe, uh, we select automatically if you want. And let's go to the next phrase. We click the to the right for the next phrase. Here we see the climbing page. You really don't have to put anything there if you want to put anything like the. Uh, if you want to change the economic of the flight, you can select it here. And for the next phrase is cruising altitude. We really don't have to do anything here. Descending also, and here is approach. You can select the things automatically. Temperature, let's put it 12 degrees. When there's really no wind at the moment, transition altitude. This is so only by country by country. Here is I no, there is no condition really of transition altitude. So, and these things are really done, are not necessary. And we go to fuel. And I think this is all we have to do. You can put the um, radio navigation uh, frequencies for VOR1 frequency, VOR2 frequency, uh, ILS frequencies, automatic direction fighter, or airport direction fighter it is. And I think that is all we can do about this. And I think we're ready to fly actually. Uh, you can check also the flight plan if you have the Airbus A if you have the Airbus, Airbus, A uh, Airbus X, you can check the uh, guides for the MCDU uh, in vo volume 7. If you have the English version, like me. And I think that is all. Thank you for watching, see you later, bye.